Hello guys and welcome to what may be the final episode of Game Hammer Extra for a while because for January we're attempting to bring back Game Hammer Daily after this episode. So you'll have daily reviews, they're going to be more short form, more free form rather than the scripted things for Game Hammer. Game Hammer will now be on Saturdays and we're going to see how that goes. And of course we'll also be uh, bringing back uh, CPC in the Amstrad CPC video magazine on a monthly basis and we're going to see how that goes too. But for this final Game Hammer Extra for at least a while, we're going to have a look at some game hauls from the Christmas and New Year period. Let's get into it. So the first game haul that I want to talk to you about isn't actually a game. It's something from a fellow YouTuber. A Christmas, uh, happy Christmas, uh, how you doing card from Oddpod. And uh, it came with a sticker that is going to take pride of place on my uh, laptop and some great press photos and behind the scenes pictures. So we've got, <laughs> oh my goodness, I've forgotten his name. He's the guy who, take, who uh, buys Oddpod in the film that's coming out. And some great behind the scenes ones of uh, Dan and, uh, is it Murray? It's Murray, isn't it? I am terrible with names. But this is by far my favourite of the lot. <laughs> Dan showing Murray around what appears to be uh, a film studio. I'm not sure. I haven't seen the film yet because it's not out yet. And then another behind the scenes. Look at how good these are. I love this sort of thing. I love it. So thank you so much to Dan and to Sam Victor of uh, uh, Pixels Limited. I really enjoyed that. Thank you so much. But that's not all because I've actually put these down on the next thing I want to talk to you about. My sister knows I'm a big fan of comics and also of board games as well as not other games. So Marvel Villainous, the board game. I'll show you the back because it's got a, a proper setup of the game. I don't know what this is. I played, um, what was it, the Black Panther one, Wakanda Forever, over the New Year period, and oh my goodness, that was so much, I had so much fun, especially the fact that you have to shout Wakanda Forever a lot. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, I really enjoyed it. Um, the people sitting nearby who were trying to watch the TV while we were all shouting Wakanda Forever, they didn't enjoy it quite as much, but it's their fault for not being involved in the game. So... I really did enjoy that, but I have a few other things here. Now, I can't remember off the top of my head if I told you about this pickup already, so I'm going to quickly talk about it. Speed Race, the video game. I know there's a PS2 version out there somewhere. I haven't got that yet, but I had to get this on the Wii because I had a feeling it was going to play an awful lot like uh, Wipeout, F-Zero, that kind of thing, but played with the Wii motion controls in a similar way to Mario Kart. I was right. This is a lot of fun. I really like this game. Never seen the film. Really like the game. So it's all here in great condition an excellent addition to the Wii library we will be having a game hammer daily on this fairly soon because I want to play it again and then I get to justify doing that during the work day by actually filming it for work what else I can't remember whether I told you I finally got a copy of Shrek very interesting game Control's not great, but it's a launch title for the Xbox, and apparently the game is so eager to get played again, it jumped out, so there's that. But uh, manual's here, everything's in good condition, very happy to add it to the set. Finally got another of the Xbox launch titles, exclusive to the Xbox. Shrek 1 did not come out on PlayStation 2, which is a bit weird. Then, of course, over the festive period, Amtix, the latest issue, arrived. Very happy with that. I really should... Uh, say this is probably our best issue so far it is issue two so it's a massive massive improvement on issue one in terms of just how well we all worked to put this together the stuff that's in here talking about looking back on the original antics all of the game reviews some of the stuff that's in here is amazing i thoroughly enjoyed reading this even though i wrote something for it so do take that with a grain of salt but i really enjoyed that i think it's our best issue and it's going to raise the bar for issue three let's put it that way then we got an interesting uh, addition because I bought the Crash Annual. There wasn't a, an Amtix Annual. I'd love an Amtix Annual. Fusion Retro Books. I want to see an Amtix Annual next year. If, we, if Amtix keeps going the way it is, I think we'll have a great uh, thing. I'll talk about the Crash Annual in a moment, though, because this came with it. A uh, sampler of Zap, Amiga, and Amtix. So that was really nice. So we got a load of stuff. For, oh, my goodness, I've opened it on a page I'm in. 
talking about which one is this? Miss Input, great game. You'll want to play that. Load of good stuff about uh, what we have here for the Amtix team, and then a load of great stuff about the Amiga. The pawn. Oh my goodness, the pawn. Yes, great. I haven't read this yet. I haven't had a look. I haven't had a minute to have a look through it. Uh, Defender of the Crown. Always liked the look of that one when I saw Amiga stuff. Tiny Bobble. What is this? Near Arcade Perfect Amiga Conversion of Bubble Bobble. Excellent. Bubble Bobble is a game that I want to review fairly soon too. So let's have a look at the big one. The one I really was looking forward to. The Crash Annual. I have spent days reading through this. I still haven't got through everything because I don't like to binge stuff. Well, I do, but uh, I decided to try and uh, hold myself off so I could uh, have a lot to read. This is excellent. Oh my goodness. The quality of the reviews, the the amount of detail about also that yeah, wonderful dizzy what a good game we're gonna enjoy having a look through this uh say we me and uh probably jen will have a lot of fun reading through this over the next month or so just think picking it up here and there excellent very very happy to add that to the set i have over in the corner the fusion annual 2021 i didn't order the crash annual for 2021 because i thought i already had it but i'd order, actually ordered the fusion one so i may have to chris i may have to pick up the uh, Crash Annual of 2021. So let's get into something else. I bought this because I saw it in a charity shop and thought, that's going to be a lot of fun to uh, take to my uh, to my parents when I visit them because mum will enjoy it. And then I forgot to take it and left it at home. So this is CSI Crime Scene Investigation Hard Evidence. There are a few CSI games. I'm just having a quick look on my shelves. CSI Crime Scene Investigation, Three Divisions of Murder. So it's a different game, completely different game. Very nice to add this to the set. I think it's going to be an interesting one, like a, a murder mystery uh, investigation thing. I'm very happy to have that. Uh, I believe there's five different uh, missions on there to uh, investigate through. That'll be fun. But I want to talk about what Jen got me as a Christmas present as well. This is going to be a fairly fast-paced, uh, like a pickups video. I try to keep these as short as I can because I don't want to weigh you down. But I want to talk a bit about the game as well. But I couldn't really talk much about this because I forgot to take it with us, so I haven't played it yet. Pretty much the only game in my entire collection I have not played yet, which is quite a thing. So, here's the first one. I may have mentioned this before in a previous pickups video because uh, Jen bought it a while ago and let me test it. This is World Heroes Anthology. It's a collection of World Heroes, World Heroes 2, World Heroes Jet, and World Heroes Perfect. Yeah. So these are old uh, Neo Geo fighting games. Really, really good fun. I had a lot of fun when I tested this out. And then she took it off me and said, you can't have it till Christmas. Fair enough. Enjoyed it at Christmas. The other one I enjoyed, though. <laughs> I tell you, Iris 3, Grand Phantasm. So, so good. This is a, another really epic role-playing game. I'm really, really happy to have that. So thank you so much, Jen, for these. They are wonderful. Thank you very much. But that's not all. Because uh, on the way to visit my parents after Christmas, uh, Jen went to a shop, a CEX branch, because I'd sent her a list of things like, if you have a minute, uh, pop over to Catrick Garrison. Guys, if you are collecting on uh, PlayStation 2, up to modern consoles, get yourself to Army Towns. Seriously, Army Towns are the place to go, because Army personnel... They uh, have a lot of off time uh, between deployments and stuff like that. And sometimes it takes stuff on deployment, but they don't always. So a lot of them, when they move around, drop off all of their stuff. Like, I'll trade this in and I'll get something uh, when I get back. So army towns have a huge turnover of stuff. So we managed to find some really hard to find stuff. Legend of the Dragon on PlayStation 2. Game factory game. Really nice condition. Everything is here in great condition. Looking forward to playing this. These are the games that I've picked up and I've, we've only just got back home. So I haven't had time. I've, I've literally just gone in the, the bath, had a quick wash to get the stuff out of my hair. Because, you know, travel, you, you want to refresh when you get home. And then I've sat down to record. Army man, army men, sorry, Sarge's Wall. Hard to get. This one is uh, surprisingly difficult to find, especially in good condition. Everything's here in great condition. Very happy to add this to the set. I know a lot of people back in the day, a lot of the PlayStation magazines really dissed the Army Men games. Like, oh, it's another one of those. Blah, 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 blah. I think, no, this stuff's good. It actually is good, but it came out like 
multiple games every year and people got sick of them but actually they're pretty good games there's one um i can't remember which one i'm having a look on my list here air attack blades revenge army men air attack blades revenge it's basically desert strike 3d desert strike get yourself a copy it's a lot of fun i know people diss all the army men stuff like oh it's another one some of them are damn good games. So I'm looking forward to giving a try to that one. Another one I'm looking forward to, Ford versus Chevy. This has got to be good, hasn't it? This has got to be good because it's a racing game. And it's one of those racing games that's either going to be a lot of fun or a uh, severely budget game. <laughs> Put it that way. But that's not all because we found another Phoenix one. Puzzle Party. Ten games. Looking forward to giving this a try. What games have we got? It has not listed any of the games on the back. Let's check the manual. All of these have a manual. Great condition as well. So let's have a look and see what the games are. We have Tetraban. This is a single player game. Destroy the required number of lines on any side of the field to proceed to the next level. Tower Ball. Single player game. Connect four balls of the same colour and they will disappear. Okay. Combiner. Another single player game. Two or more balls of the same colour placed together will disappear. That sounds an awful lot like Tower Ball. Gravitex, two-player game. Gravitation aura on the right side of the field. Every ball stops only if there's an obstacle in its way. Okay, no idea what that... I think I'm going to have to try and play these and see what happens. Terra Cut, you have to conquer as many opponents' balls as possible. There's a lot of balls going on in this game. Hexines, you have to re build a required number of lines with five stones of the same colour to proceed to the next stage. Okay, Gems Tracker. Collect the gems from the board by stepping onto them with your tracker and rotating it. Okay. Connector. When you connect several sticks, they form a locked segment that disappears and destroys everything within its borders. Okay, that sounds a... what's that? Quicks? Or kicks? Or something like that. Cube Fall. When you stay on one side of the waterfall, the other side moves. Kick the cubes to the opposite side and the two cubes of the same colour placed together disappear. Okay, sounds good. And then... As a final one, because a lot of these have been about balls. Balls Trapper. Your aim is to remove the gems from the borders of the field by placing the gem of the same colour near it. No idea what these games are. Very basic descriptions of the instructions, so we're going to have to play it and see what happens. I'll look forward to that. But what's not? Because another Phoenix game turned up. And this one is hard to get. 21 card games. Not much to it, is there? But let's have a look at what we've got here. We have 21 different cards games. 5-card brag, 9-card brag, 13-card brag. Okay, then we can see how we're getting to 21 quickly. Baccarat, Blackjack, can Canasta, Caribbean Poker, Clock, Crazy Eights, Cribbage, Draw Poker, Fantan, Foundation, don't know what that is, looks a bit like Solitaire, Hearts, Knockout Whist... <laughs> Okay, I don't know what Knockout List is. I'm not a big thing for card games, but uh, in my head, what's just happened is someone's got Whist and another one's just punched them out. <laughs> it's probably not how you play Knockout List. Omaha Poker, Rummy. Played Rummy, I think. Gin Rummy, yeah. Solitaire, always a classic. Seven Card Stud Poker, Texas Hold'em Poker, my kind of poker. And Whist. So... That should be fun. I think that's going to be one of those games that you, you want in your collection, just to bring out every now and again. Possibly a party game, possibly something just to play to pass a 10 minutes or so. Just realised that this uh, camera is not level. <sighs> We're trying some new things, setting up in the office and seeing whether I can get things to look good. Still not level. I will work this out. The uh, As you can see, I have a new background. It's interesting. It's got things in it, stuff to look at. You can't see everything. The TARDIS, Thunderbird 3, a Star Destroyer, Batman, a giant Coca-Cola. There's uh, Darth Vader in the background there as well. I'm not sure you can see him behind that. Darth Vader! This is to hold my phone. It shouldn't even be in shot because it's there in case I get uh, video conferences. My pet monster in the corner with a very old Bugs Bunny. And uh, that's my kind of background. So we'll be seeing more of that because this is the style for presenting uh, Game Hammer Daily and a few other shows as well. I hope you've enjoyed this. Take care, guys. I'll see you tomorrow for the first of the new series of Game Hammer Daily. Bye-bye. If you like the show, please consider supporting me on Patreon. It really does help create future videos. That's patreon.com slash Zoe Kirk Robinson. And I've got an extra special thanks going out to Chief89, Sam Yates, 
Retro Mickey 82, Mo Henry and George Botterini. Thank you so much, guys. Thank <laughs> you.